127. Identify the hybridization of the central atom in each of the following molecules and ions that contain multiple bonds. And then we have Cl2CO. And they give us a hint here. They say that the carbon is the central atom. And that's the one that we have to solve for the hybridization. Now, when we're doing hybridization, or if you have to find a hybridization for a certain atom, in this case, just the carbon, always draw the Lewis structure. Even though it's one extra step, it's so easy once you have that Lewis structure to just automatically get the hybridization. So that's what we're going to do here. Now, there's a, a whole playlist that's just designated to basically finding out uh, Lewis structures. We do it step by step. But this one's going to kind of be a quick inversion of that because the new material here is hybridization. Now, since they told us that the carbon is the central atom, I'm just going to draw carbon in the middle. And it seems like all the other elements are surrounding that carbon. So I have two chlorines and one oxygen. Does not matter uh, how you put your chlorines or how you put your oxygen. They just have to be around the carbon. So maybe I'll put the two chlorines down here, Cl and Cl. And I'll put the oxygen up top here. Now, let's do the valence electrons. I guess we'll start with chlorine. Chlorine is in group 7A, or 17. So that means that each chlorine has seven valence electrons. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And what kind of dots are those, Christina? Come on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Got to make it pretty. Carbon has a total of four valence electrons. It's in group 4A or 14 on the periodic table. So one, two, three, four. And oxygen is the 6A or 16 group. So that's lucky number six. Six valence electrons. One, two, three, four, five, six. We always single bond them first. So dot to dot, dot to dot dot to dot, and just see if the outer elements have the octet. Chlorine's good. Two, four, six, eight. That's the octet rule. Got to have eight electrons. This chlorine's good. Two, four, six, eight. But then when we come over to this oxygen, two, four, six, seven. So I need that multiple bond, aka double bond, dot to dot, and there we go. Now the oxygen's good. Two, four, six, eight. And the carbon is good as well. And what happened to that bond? Let's draw it right back. And the carbon, two, four, six, eight. Okay. So now, once we draw this, hybridization is easy peasy. There's five total hybridizations. These are named the way that they are because they're talking about the S, P, and D orbitals that overlap to form your bonds. But the easy way to remember this is it always corresponds to the number of letters that it has. So for example, an S, P, 2 has one S and two P's. P2, two P's. There's a total of three letters here. If I tackle on one more P, now I have SP3, and that's a total of four letters. And always the number of letters always corresponds to the number of things that's around the atom. So two letters, two things. Three letters, three things. You just got to know what one thing is classified as. One thing is any of your bonds. So whether you have just a single bond, a double bond, or a triple bond, they're all classified as one whole thing. So don't get tricked up that you see, you know, two lines or three lines. You group that together as one thing. And one lone pair is also one thing. Now they just wanted to know what the hybridization for the center atom is. So I'm only looking at what carbon has got going on. And let's see, carbon has a single bond, so that's one thing. It's got another single bond, that's two things. And it has a double bond, that's one whole thing. So you got three things going on here. Carbon does not have any lone electrons. These are not going to get counted because they're not part of carbon. So for carbon, carbon only has three things. And three things, three letters, what, what am I writing? Three things, three letters. So three, three, SP2. And we'll write that SP2, box it off, and we are good to go. So that is the hybridization for the carbon. And that 
These hybridized orbitals, just know, these hybridized orbitals, sp2, they always make the sigma bonds for your atom, whichever one you're talking about. And that's it. What'd you think? I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. And if you wouldn't mind, please tell your friends, your classmates about this channel. Um, we might be able to help them out too. Free education for all. I love it. What do you guys think? Thanks so much for being a part of this community. And let's just keep moving forward. Always keep working hard. Keep learning. I believe in you guys. Good luck on your tests and quizzes. You guys got this. And I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.